Hello and welcome to Amagir YouTube channel and today we're looking into Smitty built Overland rooftop tent that is currently on top of our RAW 4. The first thing I'd like to talk about is actually the very first part to our puzzle which is the rubber, very durable, very waterproof cover that is protecting our tent. It is made out of great material, it is easy to put on, easy to take off, it's foldable and I can put it into the pouch that the tent came with. Uh, if I am parked somewhere for a prolonged period of time and I have the tent up this way, the cover is not being exposed to the elements when you're not using it. However, there are some downsides and the biggest one for me is the fact that it is attached to the tent via Velcro. And I have nothing against Velcro. I love the idea of Velcro, but it is noisy. When you roll into the campgrounds in the middle of the night, last thing you want to do is make a lot of noise because you're already disturbing people with your headlights, the radiator fan is on, maybe music is playing. You kind of just want to turn off the car and just quickly set up and go to sleep and not bother anyone. And the last thing you want to do is have that Velcro disturb the peace and silence that you're already triggering with your car and your headlights and everything else that's going on, doors opening, closing. The installation process is pretty pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, you do need two people because of the sheer size and weight. It weighs about 110, 120 pounds and it's kind of bulky. The issue I came across while trying to install this on top of our car is that I've got roof rails that were just a little too short for the pre-drilled holes on this tent. So what I had done is I drilled new holes, installed the rails onto those holes, basically just moved it a little closer, about two inches each from each hole, and I was able to install it. But this is where this particular tent is showing its price the way it is being attached to the roof rails. If you look at brands like Yakima, for example, they use the same system as your aftermarket roof rail attachment system. This particular one is just using your bolts and nuts, which means anybody with a wrench could come up and just lift it and take it. And this is right there is why you could see that it's on the cheaper price range, which is still expensive. This was $900, $900. But if you looked into rooftop tents before, you know they usually go around $1,200. So saving two, three hundred, four hundred dollars $400, depending if you've got to get it on sale, um, and just having less of certain options is not that bad, to be honest with you. Once the cover is off, which takes 20 seconds, the rest of it is a breeze. All it is is just a few Velcro strips and then you just unfold it. Although it is super simple and easy to set up this tent, there are certain factors that you have to take into account. And uh, for one of them, I'd like to actually start with the ladder. Now with this particular tent, unfortunately the price again shows itself just as with the, uh, with the bolts. There's only one pre-drilled hole on each side. So if you purchase rooftop tent and your vehicle is very lifted or very lowered and uh, you want to use it on your vehicle, you're gonna have to drill them yourself, which is fine if you get it delivered to your home, to your garage, to your work, wherever you set up, to your shop, and uh, chances are you'll have a drill there and you just drill it and you're good to go. My issue was while using this particular rooftop tent on our journey was, well, we pull into a campground and it's not even. And it has a little drive in and no matter how much you pull in, pull out, <laughs> it's just not working. It would have been nice to have those additional pre-drilled holes on here. Throughout my travels and to campgrounds and trails, I've slept on a variety of surfaces, starting from just sleeping on the ground in a sleeping bag, to very inexpensive Amazon Reflectix mat, to foldable mats, to air mats, to air mattresses, to hammocks. By far the most comfiest sleep that I've had in a tent camping in general will be the mattress that is provided 
with this tent. Now it's it's a it's a two inch foam mattress that lives in a tent and when you're packing your tent up you just fold it in. It stays there. It doesn't clog up your car. In addition to the comfortable mattress you also have plenty of headroom when you're sitting up in a tent. So if you're in a taller spectrum of human beings you definitely enjoy this without any issues you're not gonna have your head against the tarp your legs out the window now plenty of room which is quite a benefit of uh, these type of rooftop tents where they fold out and rely on the ladder as opposed to the hard shell ones where they can only get as wide as your roof this is this is I like this a lot better this tent provides you also with four side windows and two roof windows. In order for you to utilize those two roof windows, you have to take off this rain tarp, which is not hard. It's just a little bit annoying. There's uh, three plastic clips on both sides, one on this side, one on this side. And once you're in there, you just unclip them, reach in through the window, unclip the middle ones, and you can take it off. The only issue I have with the rain tarp is there's three aluminum poles and they are one long piece and I had nowhere to put them when I took the rain tarp off when I was traveling down to the desert where I wanted to watch the sky. It didn't seem possible to keep it either inside the tent when folding it or on top it's just I the only place I had to put them was in the car and uh, it's a shame because they're quite long, they're quite big. They went span from the trunk all the way to the front seat. Once you're inside the tent and you take your shoes off, you could actually utilize this pouch that comes with the tent and this pouch actually attaches right here. But what I would have preferred is actually additional pockets inside. Now, there are plenty of pockets. There are about five pouches. But they're the size of your cell phone, your wallet, your stuff, little things you put in it. There's none of those big ones. And do we really need them? Well, what I would end up doing is when we're parked and climb in there and you change from your day clothing onto your sleeping clothing, I would just have my day clothing showered in a corner, you know, and it's just like kind of like kind of folded or on top, it's just basically messy. So it would have been nice to have a larger compartment where I could just put my clothing in for the night. It would be nice to have a nice inside compartment for, for the shoes. And the biggest con in terms of comfort that I have with this tent is the condensation buildup. Now, conventional modern tents, how they're set up, you would have your floor and you would have your bug netting supported by poles, whether it's uh, in a two pole system like a dome or like one pole system like a Hooligan and Coleman, or you could have more poles if it's a bigger tent. But you have floor, bug netting, poles. And then on top you get the rain fly, the cover, right? So when you're sleeping at night in your tent and you have all your windows, your doors is closed, the condensation that comes out of us, right? We breathe out. What it does, it goes through the bug mash, right? Through the bug netting onto the inside of the rain fly of, of the tarp. And then it just rolls down outside of the floor of the tent, it rolls down to the ground. This doesn't have that kind of system. Well, it doesn't have anything like that at all. What it has is this, this is it. There's, there's nothing else. So when we were sleeping in a very wet after the rain and cold climate, where we had all the windows closed, all the doors closed, the condensation would build up on top of, on the roof of our tent, on the inside, on the aluminum poles, and it would actually drip. Getting into the tent is uh, fairly easy. You just climb up the ladder, as you would with any ladder, and you have these red handles, specifically here to help you get inside tent. Yeah, one on this side and one on this side. So let's look at the overall pros and cons of Smitty built Overland rooftop tent. And the very first pro, the very first few pros are ease of setup and ease of set down. Cannot be any quicker. It beats conventional tent by a mile. 
it also does not clog up space in your car because it is on top of your car. In addition, you don't have air mattress or folding mat or whatever you sleep on because it lives inside the tent. And as well, you could have your quilt and your sleeping bags and your sleeping clothing live in this tent while you travel without needing to go inside the car. Another benefit of a rooftop tent, and not just specifically with Smitty Built, is the fact that you don't have to deal with the cold, wet ground. Usually with a conventional tent, you would have to find a spot, clear it off, put down your tent, put the poles, put the rain fly, put your air mattress in it, blow it up, or your air pad, your blanket. You don't have to deal with any of that because once you set up one time, you could keep most of that stuff in here and you don't have to blow up the mattress. And the beauty about it also, you don't feel that cold ground in your back when you're sleeping at night because you're off it. So what are the downsides of a rooftop tent? Well, for starters, it's an ugly box on top of your car. Especially if you have an aerodynamic car like mine, it just doesn't look very good. It does not hinder miles per gallon as much as you would think. My car used to get around 22.7 miles to the gallon with the way I drive, where I drive. With this tent, after about three to 4,000 miles, when I reset my MPG counter, I'm doing about 21.4 right now, something like that. In addition, it takes up all your roof space. So you have no room for whether you have kayaks or canoes or bicycles, snowboards, none of that. You cannot put cargo box. You cannot put anything on it because you have a tent. You could get uh, extended roof rails, which I didn't do, and you could actually attach an awning on one of the sides. We spoke how it's a pro to be off the ground because you're less cold and you don't have to deal with mud and with rocks and with bugs, none of that. But that's also a con because you need to climb a ladder to get in and out, which is fine. But if you have health issues or you get frequent runs in the middle of the night, you're gonna to have to deal with constantly climbing up and down. Another con about this particular tent that you still require a flat surface, just like you would with a conventional tent. And that's because of the way the ladder is. If there are more adjustments on the ladder, you would be more flexible where you park your car and set up the tent. Unfortunately, with this one, you have to pre-plan and if you don't, you're going to spend 25 minutes in one campsite just constantly moving in and out, trying to position the car properly so you could get some sort of a leveled tent that you could sleep in. Another con, as I mentioned before, that there is a quite a bit of a condensation buildup in this tent. The only bug netting you get is in the windows and the doors, and that's it. Overall, would I recommend Smitty Built Overland Rooftop Tent? Yes, I highly recommend. It's a great 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 tent for the price there are better ones they're more costly but for the price it is it's amazing there is a specific way i like to detach these poles from the base of the tent and the reason i'm bringing this up to you is because i already scratched my car a few times while trying to do that and the best way i found is you want to start off by taking the pole out from the one that's easiest to reach side of the tent and you just pull it. You gotta use a bit of force though, but it's doable. And once you pull it, you disconnect it. What I like to do next is pull this down and undo the tarp, like so. And once you undo the tarp, the pole will come out very, very easily. Well, there you have it. This was the review of uh, Smitty Built Overland Rooftop Tent. Thank you so much for watching and uh, happy camping.